or it's already 84 degrees on the porch <laughs> you know every day circumstances to a certain degree will cause us to do some things like if it's raining grab an umbrella put on some wet gear if it's windy put on a windbreaker if it's sunny put on shirts and shorts and enjoy the bright light if it's cold put on a coat if it's warm take some off but besides some normal actions that we do to adapt to our circumstances we're not supposed to react to them in a way that would cause us to turn from what God might be doing in us because you see every day that you're alive whether you're full of cancer and dying or whether you're full of health and going to the gym this morning or doing some other activity or whether you have prosperity and you are a wealthy person you know sitting on your prosperity <laughs> or posterior but no matter what circumstance or state that you find yourself in God said this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad in it you have an opportunity to rejoice in whatever circumstance you're in that God said he made today period he said he causes the rain to the sun to <laughs> always say that one backwards he causes the sun to shine and the rain to fall on the wicked and the good. So you don't have to let the circumstances bring you down, but you can turn it around, like they say, turn a frown into a grin and it's a smile upside down. But you can change your attitude and your actions and your reactions to one direction, one purpose, and one mindset if you choose to rejoice in the Lord always but then also today because he made this day as he said this is the day the lord has made you can choose to rejoice and be glad in it when you do you'll find it affects everyone around you everything you're going through and everything that's being done to you or the consequences of actions that are around you that you'll find that god will move in the midst of you because god inhabits the praises of his people so don't wait for a church or people or life or some perfect setting in order to do that today rejoice in the lord and be glad for this is the day that the lord has made in daily light the joy of the lord is your strength sing O heavens and be joyful O earth and break forth into singing O mountains for the lord hath comforted his people and will have mercy upon his afflicted behold god is my salvation i will trust and not be afraid for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices and with my song will I praise him. My soul shall be joyful in my God for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. I have, therefore, whereof I may glory through Jesus Christ in those things which pertain to God. We joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have now received the atonement. I will joy in the God of my salvation. If the joy of the Lord is your strength and you have the ability to choose and you rejoice, the rejoice gives voice to the joy that you have. Rejoicing is that aspect of action of joy. It is the verbalization of a feeling inside that you have that can contain itself that comes out and bursts forth in a positive, uplifting, praiseful way. And that's what rejoiceful or rejoice is. It's giving voice to the joy in you. You may not agree, but linguistically, we could always discuss it. Praise the Lord. But also you have another reason why you can be glad that this is the day the Lord has made is because he has given you salvation. He has promised you to bring you to completion. He said he will perfect you. He said he will guide you. He said he will protect you. He said he will be your God. He said you will be his people. He said he will forgive you. He said he will have mercy on you. He said he will extend his loving kindness to you. He said all these things that he will do. The question is, 
But what are you to do? The truth is, you're to rejoice and be glad. Because that's what he's done for you. Already. He has made me an everlasting covenant, ordered in all things and sure. I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he had chosen in us, in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed into the image of his Son. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, then he also called, and whom he called, then he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. It was always in God's purpose and plan to save you from the beginning of the world until the end thereof of the age, that he had already laid out in the planning of God, in the what used to be called the... Um, boy, there's a word, old English word, in the... <laughs> wow, have another drink of water. But God had always laid out from the beginning of the world to save you, to ordain you, to prepare you, to advise you, to direct you, to comfort you, to strengthen you, and to cause you to come to him in his... I still can't think of that word. Interesting. My mind's not in archaic English. <laughs> providence of God. <laughs> and in God's providence, which is... His provision, his plan, and his purpose rolled into one word that not only provides, but plans and prepares and purposes to cause you to come into his will, which is the providence of God, which is the old archaic way of defining the word, but really covers it in a much better way than what we say today with predestination, free will, and all these ideas about how God could already know the future and lay it out for you so that you would walk according to his will, so that you would avoid the pitfalls of life and come to a perfect completion of the faith that God has placed in you, that he is conforming you into his image of his son, Jesus. A lot of technical terms, a lot of simple things to simply say, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Today, walk with him and rejoice and be glad, because it is the day he's made. <laughs>